Okay, at this time, the chair recognizes Councilwoman <clears throat> Reynolds Brown who will present a resolution recognizing the Office of Special Events. And I think this should be pretty special today. Uh, uh, would Jezelle Jones and those accompanying her please join the Councilwoman at the podium. Chair also recognizes that uh, Councilman Greenlee, Councilman Jones, Councilman O, Councilwoman Marie Quinona Sanchez, uh, Councilwoman Blackwell, Councilwoman Gim, Councilwoman Parker are also joined and with a big wave and hello from Councilman Taltenberger. Thank you, Majority Leader. Yep. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Councilman Brian O'Neill and I had the good fortune to serve on the board of the Philadelphia Visitors and Convention Bureau. And uh, our membership on that board affords us the opportunity to listen, learn, and to be excited on a month regular basis about how well Philadelphia is doing, doing in the hospitality and tourism community. In fact, just yesterday, the Philadelphia Visitors and Convention Bureau released its new motto called Frankly Philadelphia. And if you consider that along with the fact that increasingly national professional organizations that work closely or look closely at hospitality and tourism are looking at the second largest city on the East Coast. Naturally, nat increasingly, they're looking at our city the first planned city in North America, and we all know it to be the first birthplace of America. We're being recognized as a city where you can walk through history, enjoy the local flavor of vibrant restaurants, as well as enjoy the culturally rich arts and cultural experiences. Given that, it's my pleasure this morning to honor and recognize the Office of Special Events on the occasion of the City of Philadelphia being recognized as the 2017 World Festival and Event City Award recipient. Full disclosure, I know her. <laughs> Second disclosure, she's worked for city government longer than me. Third disclosure, most people in city government like her better than me. <laughs> Whereas the International Festival and Event Association, IFEA, World Festival and Event City Award is given annually to those cities who have worked diligently to maintain an environment conducive to successful festivals and events and I know. <laughs> uh, okay. And, and whereas IFEA World <laughs> Festival and Events City Award provides a platform for which to recognize the valiant work of every facet of the city of Philadelphia's community in bringing about a successful exec execution of extraordinary events and And whereas the City of Philadelphia has been honored as the 2017 recipient of the IFEA World Festival and Event City Award. And? Whereas this is the fourth consecutive year the City of Philadelphia has received this award, only Sydney, Australia can be said to have matched this accomplishment. And? Whereas the consistent excellence in the field of events is due in large part to the tireless efforts of the Office of Special Events under the stewardship of the Honorable Giselle M. Jones and... Whereas the Honorable Giselle Jones has served as Deputy Managing Director and Director of Operations for the City of Philadelphia since 2005. In October 2017, Ms. Jones was appointed by Governor Tom Wolf as judge of the Court of Judicial Discipline in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, as well as a member of the Pennsylvania Emergency Management Council and a member of the Pennsylvania Commission for Women, her volunteer work. Ms. Jones was 
originally appointed by Mayor Street as Director of Planning for the Mayor's Office of Community Service, the city's anti-poverty agency, in 2001. Prior to joining city government, Ms. Jones held numerous managerial positions in the private sector. She is the recipient of the Governor's Award for Local Government Excellence, the American Red Cross Humanitarian Award, the Mayor's MVP Award, and the NAACP National Voter Fund Award. And And I would be remiss just to shortly and briefly acknowledge that when the Pope came here to the city of Philadelphia, her and her team built that. When the Super Bowl NFL draft came here to the city of Philadelphia, her and her team built that. When Made in America, Beyonce and Jay-Z came here to the city of Philadelphia, <laughs> her and her team built that. So any great festival that you see taking place here in the city of Philadelphia, her and her team built that. And so I just want to acknowledge your hard work and dedication with Michelle in the background. Whereas the Honorable Jones in that capacity have proven herself responsible for the overwhelmingly successful coordination and execution of hundreds of parades, festivals, concerts, and other city events. Whereas in recent years, the city of Philadelphia has been the platform for veritable explosions in the magnitude and ambition of stage events, including two national security special events, including the 2015 World Meeting of Families, Congress and Papal Visits, and the 2016 Democratic National Convention and Whereas the World Meeting of Families took place over six days in September of 2015 and was highlighted by the visit of Pope Francis to Philadelphia. Preparation and planning for this event was, monu was a monumental task, but the Office of Special Events worked with other city and, other and outside agencies to ensure it went off without a hitch. The Philadelphia Convention and Business Bureau placed a direct economic impact of the World Meeting of Families Congress at more than 29 million. And this figure does not even account for the papal mass on Benjamin Franklin Parkway, which drew an estimated one million people to the city of Philadelphia. And? Whereas the Democratic National Convention brought tens of thousands of delegates and visitors to Philadelphia in July of 2016, the Office of Special Events served on the front lines of the city's efforts in conceptualizing and carrying out this event. The total regional economic impact of which the U.S. Travel Association estimates at 180 million and... Whereas the city of Philadelphia hosted the 2017 NFL draft experience from April 27th to April 29th, the largest outdoor festival footprint ever created by the NFL and way better than Dallas at this year. Uh, yeah, way better. Widely lauded as a great success, the event was attended by more than 250,000 people and had a total economic impact of $94.9 million, according to a study by the PHLCVB. And whereas the Office of Special Events managed a number of operations for the 2017 Philly Free Streets event, a people-powered initiative of the city of Philadelphia, temporarily closing streets to cars, inviting people to walk, bike, and play. Taking place over a 3.6 mile route from 3rd and Chestnut Streets to 5th and Indiana Avenue, Philly Free Streets saw a participation of around 40,000 people and a 25% increase from 2016. And whereas, the Office of Special Events was responsible for the comprehensive operation plan for the 2018 Philadelphia Eagles Super Bowl Championship Parade. Well, we saw this, and you know, I saw it on, you look good, I saw you on TV here. <laughs> An event of this scale usually requires six months of planning. Under the leadership of the Office of Special Events, the city finalized plans in a matter of weeks. Total attendance is estimated at more than one million people, and... Whereas the Office of Special Events further executed a wide variety of other projects in the 2017 calendar year, including the 2017 Philadelphia Soul Championship Rally, various major motion pictures, 
uh, and Film Projects, GPFA, Citywide Social Media Task Force in the Mayor's Office, Mon uh, Monument Lab Activations and Events, Octavius Caddo Statue Unveiling Ceremony, Wawa Welcome America Festival, Philadelphia Veterans Day Parade, Made in America Festival, Philadelphia Marathon Weekend, the 2018 Villanova University Championship Parade, and the 2026 FIFA World Cup bid, and Whereas, under the capable leadership of the Honorable Giselle Jones, Michelle Saab, Ilya Gee, Robert T. Allen, Olivia Gillison, Natalie Farangali, Zena Van Skyver, and with special thanks to photographer William Foster, the Council sees no reason not to expect that the City of Philadelphia will once more be honored with the IFEA World Festival and Event City Award in 2018. Uh, Therefore, be it. Resolved by the Council of the City of Philadelphia that we hereby recognize, honor, and celebrate the Office of Special Events on the occasion of the City of Philadelphia being recognized as a 2017 IFEA World Festival and Event City Award recipient. <coughs> Further resolved that an engrossed copy of this resolution will be presented to Honorable Giselle Jones and her team, Deputy Managing Director and Director of Operations of the Office of Special Events as evidence of the sincere sentiments of this legislative body. We thank you for the work that you do in lifting up our city. Congratulations. The chair now recognizes Ms. Jazz Jones for remarks. <laughs> it is truly an honor and a pleasure to be here this morning. And I want to say good morning to uh, Council President, the Council members, and guests. It's an honor that I stand before you here today. I am humbled and delighted that this body has formally recognized the Office of Special Events for its achievements over the past four years. On behalf of my staff gathered here with me today and all the members of the Special Events Task Force, I say thank you. The Office of Special Events does manage over 1,600 individual events per year. This impressive figure speaks to the overall health and vibrancy of Philadelphia's event landscape and hospitality industry as a whole. Special events deliver measurable economic impact to the city and the region. They bring people together, creating lasting images, and contribute immensely to the diverse tapestry that is the city of Philadelphia. I would personally like to thank all and congratulate all the members of the body for your contributions and partnership in building a Philadelphia that has proven time and time again that it possesses the infrastructure, capacity, and proficiency to host large-scale signature events. And full disclosure, I would like to thank Councilman Curtis Jones, who puts up with me being out at events every weekend, and he's very patient about my time because I really do love what I do, and so does my team. You should be up here. Come on. Gladiators. Gladiators, yes, please. <laughs> There are only seven of us, but we're pretty mighty in uh, what we do. We pledge to continue our tireless work with all of our partners to establish efficiencies across all facets of municipal government to ensure that the city of Philadelphia continues to maintain its status as a preferred destination for event producers, convention planners, and visitors from around the world. So I thank you, we thank you, we call the names, but I'd like for you to personally know who they are. This is Ilea Gee, Zena Van Skyver, Natalie Farragalli, Michelle Saad, and I'm missing a few gladiators. Robert is not here today, and I want to give a special shout out to Bill, who makes sure that he covers everything we do. So thank you, Bill, and thank all of you. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Council will be at ease.